Veterinary Faculty of Córdoba is the only center of veterinary education in Andalusia, an autonomous community in the south of Spain composed of eight provinces and more than eight million inhabitants in which the agribusiness activity is both, with tourism, the most important productive sector. For this reason, the Veterinary Faculty of Córdoba maintains a relevant position in the autonomous community with excellent social integration and an open and solid connection with authorities and stakeholders, including businesses, private professional associations and public entities. The city of Córdoba is situated in the banks of Guadalquivir and at the foot of the Morena Mountains. It houses a population of 325,000 inhabitants and a population density of 259.9 inhabitants per kilometer square, being the third biggest and most populated city in Andalusia after Seville and Malaga and the 12th biggest city in Spain. Córdoba is a well geographically positioned city as it is situated like a logistic knot to the road network that connects Western Andalusian motorways and Málaga with the north of Spain, and for the Córdoba network with the north of the province, Ciudad Real, Toledo, and the north of Extremadura. Furthermore, Córdoba has the train line AVE with the highest speed trains, bifurcating towards Seville or towards Málaga and Granada. Both the passenger station and the freight station are reference stations in the southern peninsula for the high traffic and great connectivity with the rest of the country. Also, there is a special service to transport passengers from the station to the Rabanales campus. Andalusia brings a significant volume of business in both agriculture and livestock. If we analyze the livestock production by species in the province of Córdoba, we observe the outstanding position of the big and good figures in production of poultry, dairy, and small ruminants. Andalusian poultry meat production occupies the first position with approximately 22% of the national production. Capra milk production shows an outstanding figure being the half of the national production. Regarding farms and number of animals, ruminants in Andalusia account for almost a third of the national total. The above figures are the supply for 6,000 food industries approximately. On the other hand, the number of pets is set to more than 300,000 dogs and 8,800 cats in Córdoba. The Veterinary Faculty of Córdoba started its endeavor as a subordinate veterinary school in 1847. Subsequently, it elevated and was ranked the special school and higher school and thus granted the title of veterinarian and professional qualification of Albeiter. In 1943, it was established as a faculty being from 1944 the first curriculum that granted the degree in veterinary by the Faculty of Córdoba. The curriculum of the veterinary degree began its teaching in the 2010-2011 academic year and is regulated by the European Directive and by current national legislation. For many years, the Veterinary Faculty of Córdoba has been of the four classic faculties in Spain, together with Madrid, Zaragoza and León, the only ones existing since 1983. When new faculties were created, until the 13 that currently exist, our faculty has maintained a remarkable educational solvency. 
being placed between the second and fourth position of the Spanish faculties in the different developed rankings. The faculty enjoys excellent relations with external stakeholders and with society at large, to a large extent underpinned by its long history and by the unique nature of the faculty in Andalusia. In specific terms, Interaction with external stakeholders and members of the public is fostered and channeled through the faculty's external and institutional relations committee, through the executive team, and frequently takes the form of collaboration agreements. There are currently 250 such agreements with 225 institutions, companies, associations, and groups. These entities are either private, like clinics, exploitations, slaughterhouses, food industries, professional associations, or public such as health, agriculture, and livestock, environment, etc. Communication with the stakeholders and the wider society is carried out first on a private basis with the people involved through periodic contact whether in person or virtually. Secondly, there is open and public communication through the internet and social media. The track record for the Faculty of the Veterinary Medicine has been evaluated twice in the framework of the ESEBT of the European Association of Veterinary Education Institutions. The first visit in 1999 had a pilot function in a newly opened campus with infrastructures to create and enable, but that served the GOG, the new situation of the faculty. The last visit took place in 2009, in which the committee of experts considered that, despite some minor deficiencies, the faculty met the established quality criteria and recommended its consideration as approved for the European Committee on Veterinary Education. The implementation of a new curriculum with the modification of the degree going from bachelor to degree in veterinary has implied a new teaching plan with a relevant variation on the previous visit. The contents have been restructured. Teaching in small groups and practical activities has been increased the introduction of an external internship period, called a rotary, and a final degree project that introduces the student to research has also been included. The creation of the subject teaching guides and the reflection on the virtual platform model has allowed a better follow-up and registration of the practical activities and skills acquired in the course of the degree. The quality assurance system has been reviewed and consolidated in accordance with the indications of the EAEV and the quality agency of the local academic authorities, in line with SGE and ENQA standards. Thus, the veterinary degree, which has initially verified by ANICA, seven years after its implementation, has been evaluated by the Andalusian Quality Agency and has renewed its accreditation. In the main facilities, Veterinary Clinical Hospital, Veterinary Teaching Farm, the necessary reforms and modifications have been made. The Center for Equine Sports Medicine has been created and equipped a new skills laboratory is available in the hospital and new spaces for birds in the veterinary teaching farm. The number of staff in the center has expanded and been renewed with a higher percentage of veterinarians and doctors. The number of European graduates has also expanded. The biosecurity of the center has been implemented notably through the development of this biosafety plan of the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. A biosafety manual has been prepared following the recommendations of the Bioethics and Biosafety Committee of the University of Córdoba, which has as general objectives to guarantee respect for the dignity, integrity, 
and identity of the human being to promote as far as possible the welfare of the animals used as experimental models in research and teaching practices, and to assess the risks to the safety and health of workers and to the environment involved in the use of biological agents. The Biosafety Manual is available to all users on the Center's website, where are the reports on the actions and improvements proposed by the UCO Biosafety Committee, informative material as well as in the different subjects where the practices are carried out. The management team of the Center designates the Biosafety Committee of the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine as a coordinator and advisor on biosafety, promoting joint actions that result in greater protection of people's safety and health. Since the 2016-2017 academic year, the Faculty of Veterinary has offered a bilingual module to national and international students who can demonstrate a sufficient level of English, offering various subjects in English, something that is registered in the student's academic record. This offer is regulated by University of Córdoba and fulfills one of the objectives of the faculty's strategic plan, plurilingual plan. The promotion of multilingualism has been a priority for the faculty since the beginning, towards a better work quality of teaching and internationalization of students and teachers. For this reason, there are campaigns to disseminate the multilingualism plan within the veterinary degree and the promotion of participation of teachers and students of the plan in the different European and worldwide exchange programs. In order to provide the training and support needed for all the teaching staff and students involved in the plurilingual plan, language training courses and the support of language assistance is offered to aid preparation and use of the material for the classes, to aid understanding and to help resolve problems of a linguistic nature. The bilingual itinerary has been consolidated with a good offer of subjects and an increasing number of teachers and students. The number of teachers and students participating in the modules has increased exponentially since it began three years ago, including also the students of the different exchange programs. The students can find all the information related with this plan on a website specially constructed for that purpose. The students wishing to register for the plan can do so online, where they receive a message with the instructions and confirmation of their inscription. The creation of this faculty with 175 years of history played a fundamental role in the establishment of culture and scientific knowledge in our country. The inheritance of time, enthusiasm and vocation make up a melting pot that has allowed the formation of magnificent professionals over the years. Today, we continue betting on excellence and teaching quality that demand competitiveness and high qualification for the veterinary profession with an international projection. Welcome to the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine of the University of Córdoba.